So today in DaVinci Resolve 18.5, I'm going to show you how I remove the tracking markers from the green screen. So we go from this screen to this screen. All right, let's jump into it. There are lots of great tutorials out there with green screen removal. Now, what I had an issue with green screens that have tracking markers and those are necessary. It's good to have a tracking market so you can track. So I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but this is how I do it. Okay, so I have the clip here that I need to track and key out. Okay, so we'll drag, we'll drag this clip in, okay, and we're going to take it into Fusion. So we'll just go into the Fusion tab. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight the media one hit shift space bar and look for our tracker we're looking for the planar tracker so i type in pl and it appears right there so i'll just hit add and it adds it to the node tree here so what we need to do here is set the point so we're setting it on this frame here 82 it doesn't matter you know as long as you get a clean look at it. Uh, points fine, perspectives fine. So I'm going to zoom in here and I, I scroll just by holding the middle mouse wheel and you can zoom in by hitting control and the, my, the mouse wheel. All we need to do is draw our tracking data here. And so we just want to get these, these tracking points in place. Now I know that her thumb swipes a little bit from here to here, more or less. So we're going to go around that. We don't want that messing up with our, with our tracking. Probably don't need this one, but we're just going to go ahead and do it anyway. And I'm going to close this up. Okay. And now it's ready for tracking. All we have to do is track forward this button right here on the right and it tracks it forward fantastic now we hit go to go back to our reference time frame and track it back by hitting this button right here on the left track to start all right now once we have that fully tracked, we're going to create a planar transform. And it pops up over here, usually on the left hand side top corner. Okay, so we no longer need the planar tracker. So we can highlight and hit backspace, we need to, we need to mask out these tracking points. Now that we have our tracking data here, we don't need these points anymore. And the way we do what we do need is this whole screen now to be green. Now I've seen green screens with like blue markers on them, some of them with white markers, some of them with like a darker green. And sometimes you can get a key to both of the light green and the dark green. We'll grab a background, we'll bring this in. And we'll change the color of the background. And we're going to pick a screen color because we want it to match as best as possible to this screen. So we hit, we just click on that. Boom. And we can see in our viewer over here that it's just a complete green. Okay. And what we need to do is now we need to mask this so that it only covers the screen of the phone. And we do that by bringing in this polygon tool. So we're going to basically cut out a shape out of this green background. And we'll, we can pipe that into the background. We can highlight that. And we can work right on here, right on this one. So similar similar thing that we did with the tracking. So just make sure that you're hitting 
that your points are all on green. Now we know her thumb swipes in, it's the same thing. We don't want the thumb in there because then the, if we mask over her thumb, her thumb is going to be green. So I know it's about here and about here, and that should be safe enough. And here, and we close it up. Okay, so now we have that shape. And now this shape, polygon's telling the background. The background's going to go into the tracking information. And we're going to merge this tracking information with our footage. Okay, so we just need to adjust the mask so that the mask is right on the same line as the phone. And we can just highlight this little square in between these two arrows and we can drag it in. Now you can fine tune it if you like with um, with the inspector up here but I don't think it's necessary as long as that green is inside of this of this green and covers all the tracking markers that's all that you need and now you have it you can play it back and you can see that it that is perfectly tracked and now the whole screen is green okay so now we go back to our timeline right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna right click and turn this into a compound clip new compound clip so what we need now is our footage that we want to put on this screen and it's gonna be this right here um, I'm gonna adjust it because let me mute it and I've already timed this so I know where her thumb uh, swipes up we're also gonna need a copy of that green screen with the markers again because we're gonna need the markers once again and once we're done marking it we can we we'll be able to take it out. So highlight the three clips together, right click, new fusion clip. Everything is bundled up in here. Now we can go into the fusion tab. We can highlight everything and move it over. It always pushes everything over to I like to work a little bit more here in the center. So we have three clips, right? We have the top one, which is the one with the markers, which we're going to need to create a track. We have our clip that's going to be showing on the screen. And we have our clip that's just full green. This is the one that we're going to key out. So first thing is we need a planar tracker. So we're going to do the same thing. Shift, highlight media 3, shift spacebar, planar tracker. It's already there because it remembered from last time. I'll just add. Okay. We highlight the planar tracker. And it doesn't matter. You can, you can work on the left viewer or the right viewer because that's what it's showing us. So it's up to you. And same thing. We're going to we just need a track so I'm gonna make sure I just hit everything that's in the green avoid her thumb coming in oops close it up and now we hit set track forward taking a little longer probably because there's three clips stacked onto each other hit go and track back cool okay now that it's tracked everything we'll hit the create planner create a planner transform pops over on the left okay and we don't know we no longer need this media the media three we can backspace it and we no longer need this planner tracker we can take take that out of the way also okay so we have this is going to be our background 
which is in our foreground at the moment. So what we need this for is we need this media to go into our planar tracker. So we don't need this merge node here anymore. I'm going to arrange these this way. Okay. So we don't need that merge node. Um, we are going to need a little bit of space up here to work with this guy. So, but this media 2 is going into foreground. If you leave your mouse cursor there, you can see foreground and background. So you can either switch these two manually or you can highlight the merge and hit Control T and automatically changes those lines. So the green becomes the foreground and the yellow is the background. And we need to pipe in this media 2 through this planar transform. This is all the tracking data. So you can drag it in by holding shift and bring it over the line until it turns blue and it jumps right in there. Let's key out this green. So we go to media 1, shift space bar so we bring up our select tool and we need a delta here. So DEL and it pops up. Hit add and there's the delta keyer. And to key this out is super simple. All we need to do is go over to this background, go over to our inspector, background color. Its default is this gray. Click on that. Pick screen color. and bring your bring your cursor over to the green to the screen color now it, it shifts it shifts this way right but you just highlight it until it's actually green then you click on it boom and you've selected the color selected this this green and as, it, as you can see you now you can see the image behind what we need to do is to resize this resize and obviously this is it's straight vertical so the phone is on a slight angle so we can angle this so in order to do that we go to media 2 because we need to resize this we'll highlight it and sh shift space bar and we'll put in a transform node XF transform hat click add okay and now with the transform node we can go over to the inspector and shrink it down and you can see the, the green bar coming in see that and we can use the angle turn it to the right angle same angle as the phone obviously it's went a little bit too small it's a little bit to the right also we can center it a little bit a little bit better bring it up bring it up now I know that this phone isn't quite 16 by 9 vertical but it's pretty close so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the aspect we're gonna stretch it out I need to move this up a little bit more so I can use this here to move it up a little bit so when we change the aspect so it fills so I could still see a little bit of checkerboard on the right here so let's see if we can cover that or if we need to we actually need to bring up the size of the entire image a little bit. Now we could. We may not need so much aspect. I think that looks pretty good. And there you have it. So let me play the thing back for you. There you go.
go. I mean, it gives a little bit of adjustment. I see a little bit of black right here. A little bit in this corner too. That's an easy fix. Just go back into Fusion. Go back into your Transform. So it needs to be a little bit larger right there. And again, we can actually bring the aspect ratio a little bit back. There you go. Let's try that again. back smoother well thank you for watching appreciate your time and i hope this helps you see you next time